Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 175. 175. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Orlando, Florida. One location. <laughs> and not open on Sundays. That's right. But plenty of good stuff. Like I said, uh, last week we uh, stopped by and picked up eyes and ears. I and know. And also it's a cool paper material. I got like 25 eyes and ears. So I uh, can't wait to get back there. Also, our official travel agency, Pixie Vacations. And we're coming up. We have Flower and Garden Festival. We have summer coming and then of course you have halloween that's right so uh, well, let's not get crazy i know but you can almost book stuff for halloween now as far as restaurants it won't be too long till around september if we're able to do that so. that's true very true and also our official ticket agency maple leaf tickets the best deals on tickets in town check them out we're going to start the show this week back at disney's hollywood studios at star wars launch bay and next, we're going to see Kylo Ren. Uh, he started on Super Bowl Sunday. He has replaced Darth Vader. There is no Darth Vader anywhere inside Star Wars Launch Bay. He is only at the Jedi Training Trials of the Temple. That's right. And that may even change. We heard that uh, Mr. Ren may be taking over that I location as well. That, so. but, but we don't know that for sure. That's right. So, um, but we waited in the Disney Visa line. This is from 11 to 4, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, there's Kylo Ren himself. Uh, we were told really like 2 or 3 p.m. is usually the best time kind of after the morning rush and before the, you know, kind of the even the afternoon rush. Um, we only waited maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And here you are handing him a BB-8 sipper. I wasn't being very... No, no, no. That is not a sipper. <laughs> it looks that like a That represents the real BB-8. I not, was I was giving him the plans he was looking for. Can you, the whole purpose can is you he not, was wanting the droids. Can you not sip out of that BB-8? Hey, let's not... Uh, <laughs> you know, you're ruining the fantasy. You ruin... Mm. Kylo Ren was really cool. He was very intimidating. He does talk just like uh, Darth Vader did. Uh, very interactive, sort of like when we were on the Disney uh, Star Wars Day at Sea cruise, they talked to you and everything. So I like that. And he is also in the regular line. Like you can either meet him in the regular line or if you have the Disney visa, which ended up for us being less. It said 30 minutes for one, and then this was 15, 15 to 20. Correct. Although sometimes I've heard that it's actually faster to go to the regular line. So you just want to take a look, see what, yeah, you know, see what it looks like. Right. It's no problem to do that. But again, I enjoyed it. I had been looking forward to meeting uh, Mr. Wren. He had started at Disneyland in their Star Wars launch bay a little earlier. So uh, this is something I was looking forward to. We're going to move on, though. Epcot. We'd had a quick, quick trick over to Epcot after meeting uh, Mr. Wren. And look at this. This is exciting for you. The first sign of Flower and Garden. I know. And I don't know what it's like today. They're probably ripping up the, uh, the grass as we speak. But this is just showing where they're going to be placing the um, the flower quilt, which I don't know what it will, it usually looks the same. Like one year they did have nautical flags, but uh, they'll probably have flowers and butterflies. And Mickey and, heads. And There's Mickey always heads, a yes. giant, not so hidden Mickey. I always enjoyed that. And I think, I don't know what they're doing over here. This is over by Imagination. Well, the playground would be further on, like way, right. way down there by so the... So maybe yeah. this is just some other kind of work. They have, it looks like they've started on the playground, but I don't know what this area is. But I think they're supposed to have some kind of a new playground this year. So I figured since we're looking anyway, we were over here in the corner. This is where the old Kodak corporate lounge used to be back in the old Journey into Imagination days. I have been in that lounge back in the day when it was Kodak. It was really, really cool. So something that uh, hopefully will come back someday they'll have another uh, corporate lounge there. Mm -hmm. And Jeff thought there was a Zootopia monorail on the beam for Epcot. And there is a Zootopia uh, theme monorail with a wrap. And it's not this one. It's not this one. We so waited that is, like 20 minutes for We're nothing. showing the not Zootopia <laughs> mon That is the not Zootopia monorail right there. Of course, since we were at Epcot, even though we were just there last week, uh, there have been some changes over at the Frozen attraction. Tell us about that. Well, just that this is actually starting to look like the cabin. And I believe this is where Anna and Elsa will be meeting the Royal Summer House. It's supposed to look like a Norwegian, like a Norwegian log cabin. It looks totally different than last week. I don't know how the ride is is going, the uh, Frozen Ever After, which is supposed to open in early 2016. Hmm, it's early still, 2016. It's what, still early. When does it become not early? I don't know. Maybe like June. July, yeah, perhaps, July is not 1st, early? Like before July 1st is probably early. that would early. be more than halfway through the year, July. <laughs> but at least it looks like they're moving a little, you know, a little faster with this. So um, we'll see. And uh, we'll see how the, the attraction goes, but it'll probably be, I bet it's at least another couple months down the road. Yes. Anyway, we were there. We decided to take a look at it. 
That's enough of uh, frozen, <laughs> frozen over enough. there. Of course, it was Mardi Gras a couple days Fat ago Tuesday. on Fat Tuesday. And uh, we went, of course, to Port Orleans, Disney's Port Orleans, the French Quarter. That's our place we go every year. And, and of that's course, Arneel. yes, he's always um, awesome. We enjoy seeing him every time we go over to the uh, French Quarter. And he always looks great, but he, you know, is a little bit more even festive on on Mardi Gras. He was very busy though. He was kind he of was frazzled. Busy. He was passing out all the beads and things, so we didn't bother him too much. And the reason we went over there is the traditional Mardi Gras parade every year on Fat Tuesday. We always watch it here. Uh, the first, we see it twice every year because yes. we can do that. And uh, we like to watch it here with a tranquil setting of the water and everything. You could see it really like five times. You could start over at Port Orleans <laughs> Riverside and then just kind of move along. But this is actually a really nice spot for us and we can always get a spot you know, along the parade right after this. This year's theme was board games, and we're looking at Candyland. And speaking of candy, if you watch this parade over there, you will get a, a handful of candy at least, because they, they throw out plenty of candy and beads. And <laughs> it's a really nice little treat they do. Yeah, I thought, it, you know, it's just a lot of fun. I don't know if they always had, did they always have themes like yes. last year they had yes. a theme well we'll link to all we've done this this is probably our fifth year in it a is row. it is fifth so uh, there's always a theme going I, one year they had music was the theme and they had the kiss cart which that I thought was, was like very a year cool. or two ago that was two years think, ago is it wasn't at the time i wasn't there because i didn't see it oh maybe it was last year i think then. it was last year so um but different this year there was no princess tiana Look at that nice candy yes i know and there was no princess tiana there was no prince naveen there was no uh, yeah, this is, shoots and ladders. Yeah, shoots and, I have not played that since I was like five. <laughs> I love that. Now she's giving me some beads there. Oops, but took too many. Our favorite cart will be coming up oh, very yes. soon. I can. I, can I see it already? No, I think. Well, we'll give that oh, full coverage wait. when uh, when it's due. Let's. I, I just don't want to uh, not give. Good yes, well, the Monopoly, and Monopoly you have the great. banker. The banker, the banker is, is handing out candy, and you've got the beads. And um, and did we mention this is all volunteer cast members doing this? She's throwing out money. That's something you don't normally see, cast members throwing money at you. <laughs> Too bad it's not real. But, you know, they should keep it themselves if it was real. But uh, but here is, oh, this here was, I just go. remember, like, the moment I saw this coming toward me, I thought this was, like, the coolest thing ever. And I'm not, like, some massive Star Wars fan, but this has sound and You need to watch, we will definitely and, link, you need to watch this with the sound, because the sound kind of makes it. And, and, and smoke, it's oh, not it's, smoking it's here, but it does smoke, and you, I think we're going to see that, right? You will definitely see that. And, you know, this is, oh, the, there, there, there goes some smoke right there. This is the day after we met Kylo Ren, who, of course, replaced Darth Vader, so this is Darth Vader's revenge right no. <laughs> here. Giant. It, there's the way it bounces and has the sound. And someone on my Instagram said that they heard it was um, engineering at the resort. It was that definitely it. engineering. That's correct. I saw that too. Oh, I just saw it. It makes sense. It, well, it totally does. Like engineering seems to do good pumpkins too, <laughs> like during the holidays. Um, but this was just phenomenal. Like I want one of these. Like I just want to see it every day. You know, we are aficionados of golf cart type parades, although they, they do not call this a golf cart. Well, they cart. call it a Pargo parade, but Pargos are golf carts. Yes, so that's correct. I, I don't know if Pargo's like the, that does not look quite like a Princess the Leia there, the gentleman in the costume there. So I think those are real people mixed in with the Star Wars people. Did you see that? Yeah, that's I say it. Those are cast members there, and you're supposed to match. It's the Guess Who Star Wars game. Maybe that's a real game, the Guess Who. I don't know. Maybe don't it's know. a made-up game. I, you know, I looked up Star Wars game online, and I didn't see anything that looked like this, so I have no idea. Did anybody have, like, a Star Wars game as a kid? Because I don't think I did. Let us know if you, know? you think it's real. <laughs> I do not think it's real. I think it's, again, the balancing it's, uh, imagine a, a real imagination when he went he went like you know it'd be <laughs> yeah, like he'd go. wait and wait and wait and they made sure to clear everything now while we were there we had heard that the new uh, play area at the pool was being uh, constructed so we stopped and checked that out do you have any uh, info on that for us this actually started in october mm -hmm. and i guess it was supposed to we i looked up at uh, port our mm -hmm. friend andre hello said, andre uh, andre is supposed it was supposed to be done like December, then it was supposed to be done like January. So perhaps this month we will see it. Theming, there's some beads there, perfect for Mardi Gras. I don't see any Disney characters or anything, but you still know, early. You never know. Uh, well, not all of you know. Not all of these play areas have that. You know, all of the resorts seem to be getting these water play areas. 
So Port d'Orleans French Quarter is, is finally kind of getting its turn here. This is a little different though. It doesn't appear to have a bucket. It has that spinner instead. So I kind of like that. You know, you don't want everything to be the same. But maybe they will find a bucket and they will put it on top. You think I there's don't know. a hidden bucket no, coming no in idea. that we don't know about yet. That's it looks very possible. It looks different. You know, they try to theme it obviously toward the resort. So next we went to Disney's Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom for a full day. So we have lots to talk about starting off with the Pandora the world of avatar is that the correct name i think i believe it is. i believe that is correct and um i mean i don't know like at the end they could call it something totally different but everybody's been calling it like avatar land right um but we see like the floating rocks i think we now see two floating rocks three there's three is there floating three because rocks? i yes. counted only the two although they are not exactly floating you can see they're quite connected yes from this angle and i actually just saw photos like if you look on twitter and look up um avatar photos you can see uh, from above, like, I don't know if it's a drone or a plane also. Mm -hmm. And there is another rock, uh, floating rock right there. Where's the other one? Uh, you'll see the it. For, there's another angle that uh, we will see it. Also, you know, there's going to be a boat ride. And I just saw just today that uh, they had filed a permit. And you can see the actual... Uh, track the boat ride will go in so it oh. looks like a very nice i have to show you that later but uh, this is all supposed to open next year so we'll see if that happens and this is a new restaurant that'll be opening soon as well right that will be uh tiffin's we've mentioned it before it's supposed to be a signature restaurant i'm going to guess well before avatar oh yeah i think uh, so opens you know it's well, that's opening this quick. year i think right the probably tiffin's? i don't i don't know there's the other rock given a date Yes, and uh, Avatar, I have no idea when that will open. All they say is 2017. Hmm, very much like uh, Frozen. Just vague. Vague. Everything's, but the, you know, it's better not to give a date. That's and, true. You know, because a lot of times it ends up being pushed uh, later. But they also have Avatar Flight of the um, Passage, which will be like a flying attraction. I don't know if it'll be like. Soren, plus, of course, the boat ride, the bio uh, bioluminescent. Bioluminescent, yes. Lots that's a, of something I had to learn. Bioluminescence <laughs> will be found in Avatar, or I should say, the Pandora, Navi, the world of Avatar. The Navi River Journey. That's that right. That's what it's called. That's right. So that's something we'll talk about uh, going forward. Now we're actually on our way to Conservation Station. We haven't taken the train, the Conservation the wild, Station train, in quite a while. Yeah, it's actually called the Wildlife Express train. The whole area we're going to is Rafiki's Planet Watch, but we're. We were coming really for Zootopia mostly, mm -hmm. uh, which is inside the conservation station. I think it used to all be called conservation station a long time ago. I see some rhinos. They, the uh, captain of the train or the conductor was telling us. The captain of the, the train. Captain, <laughs> that they, sometimes they give some of the rhinos uh, a little rest. So these are the fortunate rhinos getting their rest for the day. They have an abundance of rhinos, so they don't need them out on, all how, out on the safari. How are they not resting? You would think they'd be resting on the safari, They have to too. perform on the safari. I I don't think they perform you are that much, working but... for the guest here's the the elephant uh enclosure there so uh and we saw the elephants out in the on the safari indeed we did indeed we did it was nice to have a uh do the train ride again it's been a while for us we've done a lot of safaris lately a lot more than we've done in you know in many years so that was that's been kind of nice but here at conservation station uh they have a Zootopia display. That's what we're going to be seeing in, in just a moment. Here is the outside. The outside um, has seen better days. It though. has. The lizard I, looks like he can use a little paint. <laughs> a little TLC there. Yeah. Um, I hadn't even noticed. Well, the elephant first. is kind of flapping in the wind, too. So I think it's time for a upgrade on some of these guys yeah i i agree i didn't uh, i didn't take i didn't notice too it quickly. until i'm watching it here on the screen while we're talking the coyote or wolf or whatever that is also needs they all kind of it need was very bright in in person so you can see it better on the on the video anyway as you said the real reason we're here is for the zootopia and how do you like that here it is we're about to see the zootopia exhibit why don't you tell oh there you are making a little cameo Yay. studying the exhibit tell us about it please. well this you know this area opened on january 29th and it reminds Reminds me of what they've done at Disney's Hollywood Studios for many years and mm -hmm. we always would cover the concept art display so I was just so glad to see Zootopia here the last one at Disney's Hollywood Studios was inside out before they closed the animation building and right now it's of course been replaced by Star Wars launch bay so I think these uh, exhibits are gonna find new homes I at hope so. the various parks I it totally makes sense here because the uh, the filmmakers worked for 18 months uh, researching and it included Animal Kingdom and Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and right. you'll see those photos as well so it's just very interesting to there's a 30 plus piece of concept art so it's not as much as you know other displays have been but it's still 
just the fact that they brought it here, I thought was very nice. Definitely worth the trip over there. The train ride is really nice. And when, when you know, the payoff is great because you can see, and the movie looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it looks really good. I can't wait to see this one. Oh, I totally, I mean, it's like next week for me that I will be seeing it, I think. So yeah, you're going to a, uh, I'll be at Daytona, of right. course. I could have gone myself. So we'll be doing a little, you know, a review, but I can't wait. And also um, on the Disney Parks blog, Sean Slater said this is supposed to probably be open until at least Earth Day, which is April 22nd. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if you're wanting to see this, you probably have a, at least a couple months, probably two and a half months at least. And I'm sure once the movie opens, they will keep it open for a little while. Hopefully. I hope so. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice if they even expanded it with... Um, a little bit more information, but we'll see. And you're just taking quite a brief look. We'll link to the full video, but as you mentioned before, they did some studying at here at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom and at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think you're seeing that now. So uh, that's about it. We're almost done with looking at uh, that, but now we're going to see Tarzan the Ape Man. It oh, was no. a cold day. <laughs> yeah, so guess, Tarzan was hanging out inside Conservation Station. I guess he's often near um, where we saw Turk, which was by Pizza Safari, not far from Pizza Safari. Right. But, he, you know, his his uh, outfit that he chooses to wear in the jungle isn't much. So no. he cannot <laughs> be out in the cold. He was looking for bananas, by the way. And he's telling me right now that Turk ate all the bananas it totally you know it makes sense so. yeah it makes sense and we confronted turk uh i okay this. i did not confront i turk. say we meaning me <laughs> i did not talk to turk except well, when tarzan turk asked me. threw it out there and i wanted to get confirmation <laughs> about what he was talking about it was great i hadn't seen uh, tarzan in a long time probably we haven't met him since uh mickey's not so scary a couple years ago and here yeah, is turk uh, here's turk right now and so uh, turk, turk admitted admitted just yes. a little she said to eating the bananas but I, I don't know i think uh turk saw my disneyland uh hoodie and asked me if i was from disneyland and i mean like wrote it on a piece of paper are you are you from disneyland who knew that turk had writing skills i had no so idea. good well, yeah it was pretty good and look we're back now turk was near pig safari but now we're back at conservation station and uh, I wanted to go see some of the animals, like the goats, because I can't see them at Disneyland anymore. Yes, and you know, I normally would bypass this, but because we had such a great time in California at the goats and the running of the goats and all that, you didn't have to twist my arm too much to go and see the goats. They were wonderful. I loved it. This is something I will do more often now that I'm really aware of. Uh, it's actually bigger. There's more animals that, than uh, Disneyland, I think. Different but, variety of animals as well. Well, you have the, the mules and, yeah, you have the or donkeys, if you and call And they them. give you brushes so you can sit there and brush them if you want. But uh, a lot of them are kind of behind ropes, so you couldn't have gotten to them. And I don't know if that's their choice. So I decided not to even go in because the few animals that were actually touchable uh were already being touched i didn't want to irritate them oh, yeah. <laughs> you know like so after uh <laughs> after visiting and touching all these nice animals we I decided to go eat some at yak and yeti Will you stop? that was That's not fun. a good transition but uh, it is true yak and yeti we used our uh, landry's card and we got right in as always but i didn't eat any goat i had chicken well that's an animal <laughs> It's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, Yak and Yeti, always great. We started off with a big uh, amber 20-ounce beer, which was delightfully good. And you had, you always like their They're, tea. They have mango iced tea, and it's unsweetened. So I drink a lot of that while I'm there. Mm -hmm. I that's, really uh, like that. Yes. That's always a good idea. <laughs> so we had some appetizers. We had egg rolls, very good egg rolls. These are uh, pork egg rolls with the chili plum dipping sauce. I didn't have, I don't think I had the dipping sauce. No, no. I usually like a mustard sauce but uh, the plum sauce was uh, was a good a good choice as well and we we had the landry's card jeff was using his 25 dollar birthday right and uh so that's such a good deal you know if you don't have the landry's card so i had for my main course here the crispy honey chicken it is much more than it looks it, it at, looks from this like angle. A, it looks like it was, a really small plate it, there. It was but it huge. <laughs> I was very full. How do you even make it look so tiny? It's the magic of, uh, I don't know why. And yours doesn't look big either, but that is a giant plate. It is a plate, very a good giant portion. Amount. This is a chicken tikka masala. It's what I always get. It has a naan bread. It has uh, white rice. You can, I think, for $2 upgrade to fried rice, but I didn't need that. And I just really enjoy this dish so much. And uh, so, yeah, it looks kind of small here, but it's, it looks like a tiny cup of soup, but it's it, huge and, and it has great spice. You let me try some of this and uh, it was uh, I, wonderful. This was the surprise, though. This dessert was fantastic. This was like um, a pineapple upside down cake 
with vanilla ice cream. So it was, the cake was really warm. So then you had the, the cold ice cream. So it really worked very well. Somebody mentioned that it was sort of like a uh, dessert Dole Whip almost. And it kind of was with the pineapple and everything. It was really good. I would have that again, absolutely. Definitely. And and we usually use our birthday uh, money from Landry's over at Yak and Yeti, but not always. We've done uh, T-Rex once. We just too. tried T-Rex. And, and although T-Rex was really good, I think... The Yak and Yeti will always be the mm-hmm. my number one choice. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's my it's my favorite too. And again, the key to this is the Landry's card. Why don't you give a quick? Uh, well, uh, we you get priority seating, so we were seated in just like less than five minutes, less than two of minutes, very quickly. Which and they were saying it was a forty-five minute wait, by the way. So that's a, a big savings right there, just to get right in. And also, you get uh, twenty-five dollars back immediately when you get the card. So you purchase a card for twenty-five, and then you get twenty-five. But then every birthday, you get another twenty-five. It's so a there's no-brainer. Other little uh, rewards with that too, but that's the main thing. So we're gonna move on. We have uh, while we are talking we saw flick from uh, a bug's life come out and uh, we have not met him since uh, a couple of years ago in disney's Disneyland. california adventure mm-hmm. right so it was great to see flick again i love all the characters at uh, disney's animal kingdom it was a uh, it was a great day for that and there had been a longer line earlier when we had arrived, but by the afternoon it wasn't it wasn't too bad. And I think we're kind of in the final days of um, off season right now. I'm right. not even sure we're still in off season, but last week we were. Well, I think now this coming week will be a busier season. It seems already. You know, you have a lot more tour groups and the whole cheerleader um, cheerleaders in the parks and such. So it's been, oh, there he is, <laughs> a like little, little bit busier from already. The flick. So uh, yeah, that was a good time. So now we're going to move on. We're going to take a look at construction for the rivers of. Of Light, the new show that's coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom this supposedly uh, early 2016. Well, they, I mean, they've said spring for Res- Rivers spring. of Light. Well, so we'll see. Um, they're still working. I mean, it, it's moving, but there's still a lot more that seems like it needs to be done. Um, and this will be the an evening show, a nighttime show, the first nighttime show that Disney's Animal Kingdom in almost 20 years has ever had. Kind of like Fantasmic, I see, with the way that the seating looks like it's going to be arranged. Right. I mean, that's what it looks like. And then you're going to have, like, I think the water screens and the swirling animal imagery. Like, all the stuff we've said on several other shows. But we've heard it's not Disney, necessarily Disney movie characters or or, uh, music from the, you you know, the films. Well, I I think that's what they've said kind of from the beginning is that there's not really a, a Disney aspect to it as far as characters and such. So I don't know how that will play if it's just, like, animals but not... You know, too much with the Disney. Like, World of Color is all almost all Disney. I think even if it starts with not Disney, it might end up changing it, to that's po- Disney. always possible. Sort of so like we'll the parade. See. Remember the parade of the Artemals? The first parade oh, right. didn't mm-hmm. really fly. So, oh, I don't want to miss this. Construction going on at the, their version of the Emporium. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, they opened the Riverside Depot in uh, December, and that's like a extension onto the Disney Outfitters. But now Disney Outfitters is closed through mid March. So that's about so. it. Uh, lots of new changes going on at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and you know what? That's another show. That's another show. Want to thank our sponsors, PixieVacations.com. And Maple Leaf Tickets. And Theme Park Connection, our original sponsor. Have a great week, everybody. We will see you all next week. Have a great week.